welcome to another Hero Arts video. I'm going to show you a coloring technique using Prismacolor pencils. I'm layering and blending several colors together using a colorless blender pencil. To get started, we're going to stamp the two pumpkins using a basic masking technique. I'm using stays on, but you can also use a dye ink. Since I'm stamping with a wood block and I can't see through it, I'm going to use the wood block as a guide. I line up the bottom of the block with the bottom edge of the cardstock. To create a mask, I stamp the image again without re-inking on a post-it note, making sure I'm closer to the sticky end. Carefully cut out the image on the lines, just ignoring single lines like the little squigglies on the vine here. Place it over the image. Next, we're going to ink the background stamp. Again, using the wood block as a guide, I'll stamp the image partially over the first image and lining it up with the bottom edge of the cardstock. Okay, we remove the mask, and the tall pumpkin is behind the traditional pumpkin. With color pencils, you can vary the shade by adjusting the amount of pressure you put on the pencil. This first layer is a light touch and a fairly sharp pencil. I chose yellow ochre for my base layer. In this case, this is the lightest color and the layer that I will allow to show through in places where I want highlights. I'm adding lime peel to the entire stem right over the yellow ochre and then I'm going to come back with olive and this will be the areas that I want shaded or a little darker green still using a light touch I'm adding mineral orange to the pumpkin everywhere except the areas that I want to have highlights remember I already put the highlight color down so I just need to color so that it's not covered. After mineral orange we'll go over the same areas with the pumpkin orange. You get the idea right? Okay now the fun part. We're going to blend with the colorless blender pencil which is just a wax based pencil without the pigment. I try to start in the lighter areas. I don't want to corrupt the yellow area too much. So I just blend that by itself and then I go back and blend all the other colors together. Okay, and you can add more color on top after you've blended it. Sometimes I add two or three layers just depending on you know, what look I'm going for. And if you go over the lines just a little bit, a white plastic eraser will do pretty good to clean it up. Okay, I'm doing a little bit more blending with the yellow ochre. Okay, now I'm, I'm, you see me smoothing out the surface with my finger because with so many layers of color, you're going to get a waxy buildup. So I just smooth it out, it makes it look better. Now I'm adding shading with terracotta. I want to note here that anywhere you have one surface overlapping like flower petals or in this case where the two pumpkins are going to meet, make sure one surface is darker than the other. So I'm going to go ahead and color this other one. Same way I did the first one. And now I'm adding in the areas that I want shaded with the darkest color, the terracotta. Okay, and it's done when you feel like it's done, when you feel satisfied with the way it looks. Okay. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of brown to ground the images so that the pumpkins aren't floating in midair. And I'm going to use the blender pencil just to smooth out the 
pencil lines and I'll go back over it and any areas that I feel like might need just a little bit more color or not but basically it's done when you feel like it's done. To use the design block stamps they're fairly large so I sit them down on my work surface and ink the stamp that way. Then I take the card and depending on the image you have to pay attention to which way it's going. In this case it doesn't matter so much. But I place the card down on the stamp and rub it so that the ink transfers to the card. Okay, and then we're just going to trim out the image and also trim a mat with the brown and the cranberry. Now for the message I'm using clear stamps. These stamps are stained from the last time I used them but they stamp fine. And also the last time I used it I only used one of the words so I just pieced them back together and it stamps just like I had never cut it apart. Okay now we'll just begin to assemble the card with double stick tape and I'm gonna put the layers together on the front of the card. Now to add a little final special touch, I'm using a ballpoint glue pen and Prisma glitter, just on the vines, just to give it just a little something. I usually turn my card inside out like this just to avoid having to go get a second sheet of paper. And I'll just tap the excess down into the jar and put the cinnamon on and there you have it. Thanks for watching.